So this happened in 2018 in July. So Tsila goes in with the kick. Tai Chi Master looking very similar to how he looked a few days ago in 2020 with the boxers. So, you know, Chilala has been fighting for probably four years at this point, right? So Chilala is going very easy on Tai Chi Guy. Ooh, Tai Chi Guy attempting certain, maybe Tai Chi grappling. chilala has got the shin pads. Tai Chi Guy doesn't. So Chilala is, ooh, look at that. Showing how off balance our Tai Chi Master is, if you noticed. So our Tai Chi Master with that weird stance, with the weird, look at that, chin wide open. Silala's kind of chin checking him, a little playing patty cake with his face. It's hard to say, playing patty cake. It's like a tongue twister. Um, tai Chi guy, I think, might be a little bigger than Silala. So his strategy literally is, I'm wide open, I'm gonna blitz you, right? That's his strategy. I'm gonna blitz you with my chin wide open. And Silala, to his credit, is not, look at that, working on his head movement. Silala, to his credit, is being very, very nice. You know, Silala could probably knock this guy out really quickly. So, oof, look at that, another patty kick to the face. Doing a little bit of pushing, controlling, some Wing Chun techniques. Look at that. Wide, wide, wide punches by our Tai Chi guy. Look at that. Chilala is connecting to his face so many times and being very nice about it. Chilala can totally do a hard hit to his face and knock him out. But Chilala is just being very, very, very gentle. And look at that. Our Tai Chi guy seems to be a little bit confused at something. So, no. He was stalling. That was the end of the round. He was stalling. He didn't want to take any more peppering to the face. That's what was going on. So... Um, again, this happened July 2018. So this was two years ago, guys. Two years ago. And seeing the boxing footage from recently, I don't think our Tai Chi guy learned anything. Like He sparred with some great people, man. Like What did you learn from all this? Nothing. You didn't figure out that you were off balance. You didn't figure out that your hands... Well, look at that. Okay, look at how off balance that was. Look at how off balance that was. See, I literally just let him slip and then hit him in the face. It's like some people, you need to hit him a little harder. So this was the same day. Um, this was a, again, all the people after Chilala that this guy sparred were just hobbyists. Just maybe some of them only had a few classes, but none of them even fought like professionally or amateur. They're just people that train with Chilala. So um, on top of that, guys, look at the fact that Great angle by the bald guy. Um, look at the fact that in this case, the Tai Chi guy actually has a weight advantage. So, with the weight advantage, he's just trying to smother. He's literally, look at this. What are those hands doing, man? You're completely off balance. All the guy has to do is step around you, angle, hit you in the face. Look at the Tai Chi guy. Like, he's probably trying to copy some head movement that he sees people do, but he doesn't understand the point of the head movement, right? Man, head movement is better coupled with like your hands protecting your face, your shoulder protecting your face, etc. Or else you're just wasting your movements. Look at Tai Chi guy. Look at Tai Chi guy. He just feels confident because he's fighting a smaller dude. Man, everyone at this gym is being so nice to Tai Chi guy. They're literally. Tai Chi guy's going a little hard, you know. When you go into any gym, you should just light spar them. If they turn it up on you and you, you're ready, then turn it up. But he's going pretty hard. So, at least Tai Chi guys learn how to touch gloves. And just the way he's always raising that foot, it's kind of checking certain kicks. But I don't think he's, he's like trying to check kicks. It's just by chance. Look, now he got kicked in the calf. So, oh, nice body shot. I think that was the end. Yeah, that was the end of it. What I really like about Bald Guy is that towards the end, he started realizing even though Tai Chi Guy's chin is wide open, don't always aim towards his head. 
aim towards his body a little bit. The body, especially people who are starting out, and I'm including myself as a boxer, sometimes you're all focused on the face, but you realize, man, body jabs, body hits. Bald guy got a really good lesson in sort of sparring this guy. So this is the same day. This is a really big guy. Really big guy, look at him smiling. And if you watch the original video, the people in the background are telling the big guy to take it more seriously. I mean, good on the big guy, right? Big guy knows just, he swings one wild haymaker and he'll basically kill this Tai Chi guy. So, but look at big guy, look at big guy. He's like, your punches do no damage to me. And Tai Chi guy, I don't think realizes that big guy's going easy on him. Oh, like that, you know? Imagine if that had a lot of force. Drop the Tai Chi guy immediately. Tai Chi guy again, showing how off balance he is. Off balance. I thought Tai Chi was supposed to help with your proprioception with your balance, man. Look at the big guy just drops his hands down. He's like, I don't, I, I, I realize the Tai Chi guy can't do damage to me. Yeah. Big guy, look at that. Big guy working on his switch. He's, he's working, trying to be ambidextrous. So he's switching from orthodox to southpaw. Awesome red cup, too. Uh, nice. Tai Chi guy's so off balance, man. He's literally throwing his whole body into it, but not effectively. Like, if you throw your whole body into punches and, and it, like, the force is in the right direction, then yes, but he's literally throwing his whole body in a spazzy way. It's like the, his, his whole body's not even helping his strikes. This is ridiculous. And again, guys, this was July of 2018. Man, Tai Chi guy with his chin wide open, man. Chin wide open. What do you guys think that's from? Like, why is his chin that high? Is in his mind, does he think that's making his head farther away from the opponent? Or is he trying to look above the opponent's shoulders or something? Is that why his he's, he's, his head is so, his chin is so raised? Look at the big guy. Oh, just attempting a spin kick. Chilala is giving some pointers or something. Again, big guy's a hobbyist too. Look at how open and off balance, but open our Tai Chi guys. Look at this. Body's open, his legs open, his face is open. Look at this. I don't I don't even think this is funny, man. It's a game you should play, guys, when you watch the footage. I'll link the footage. Um just look at how open. Pause it at any moment and look at how open the Tai Chi guy is. Right? Leg could get kicked. Oh, it does get kicked. Look at that. His face could get jabbed. Especially when you're fighting a guy that big. So this was also the same day in July. So, the Chilala and his friends really humored the Tai Chi guy that day, man. And Tai Chi guy didn't learn anything. Look, look at all this. Tai Chi guy did not learn anything. Look, look at this. <laughs> now Tai Chi guy's doing um, the Bart Simpson a little bit. Oh, he's pissing off. He's really angering guy with pink gloves. I can tell guy with pink gloves is about to turn it up, see? Guy with pink gloves has to figure it out, man. Just angle. Angle, right? Slip it, angle it. That's all. Because the Tai Chi guy comes in linearly and ineffectively. All you got to do is just angle off and hit him. See? See? Look at that. Just angle off. Move your head a little bit. Hit him. So, Tai Chi guy has been figured out. Look at that. And he's still using the same form of attack. I'll attempt to smother. I'll attempt to smother. Man. Hands so low. What is this hand doing? It can. You're gonna get jabbed in the face or crossed. Oof! Look at that angling off. Jabbed. See? See? Jabbed in the face. Man. Let's see. Let's see. Kicks. Oof! Nice. Again, like. <laughs> uh, Pink gloves has figured out the Tai Chi guy. Look at that. Look at that, just, oh, Tai Chi guy just accidentally dodged a hook. And you gotta be careful too, right? Some people will actually purposely swing to miss to make you move a certain way and then the second or third shot's actually what they really wanna hit you with. Tai Chi guy's tired, Tai Chi guy's gas. Oh, look at that, he's, he's dodging a few of these shots. Not bad, guys. <laughs> okay, so. Again, most important thing, pink guy figured out, angles. 
angle off and then just hit him. Angle off and hit him. See? Angle off and hit him. Angle off and hit him. Angle off and hit him again. Angle off and hit him again. Look at that. <laughs> Guys, practice your footwork, man. Practice your footwork. He went back to the same gym a month later. So this was literally two years ago. This was in August of 2018. And it looks like he's a lot more aggressive now. I guess his lesson wasn't that his technique sucked. The lesson is he got to go more zelen off. Look at that. Dude, you keep doing this, you're going to piss off this guy. You're going to piss off this guy real hard. Look at that. Look at the guy smiling. He's like, okay, you want some blood? I'm going to give you some blood. Dude, this is so sad. This is really sad that the lesson that the Tai Chi guy learned from the month before was that he needs to go a little harder. Look at that. Look at this. Our, um, our guy with pink gloves is going much harder now. Back at Tai Chi guy. That's exactly what happened during the second boxing match we saw, right? So, just jab, yeah, just angle off and jab, exactly, look at this. Tai Chi guy doesn't understand angles. My boxing coach makes me practice that every time. Angles, he's always about angles. A little, a little jab. Look at that, again, just step off. This gym's a little small, man, see la la. I'm, I don't know who the gym owner is, but this looks like a basement that, you know, it's a little too small, but. Look at that. Look at look at pink gloves. Pink gloves is smelling blood. Just covering up, right? Oh, if that hook connected. Right, just covering up. Oh, there you go. He got it. He got him. This is the Dean Rosenwald right here, right? If you've seen that move, that um video, Dean Rosenwald said, if someone just blitzes me, I just cover up, roll, and protect myself, and then I just hook them. Like that. Man, Dean, you should get in touch with this fighter. He would make you proud. Again, oh, look at that. He got dropped. Taishi guy got dropped. Cover up, angle off, and hook. Cover up, angle off, and hit him. Boom. Ow. Ow. Man. Taishi guy learned nothing from this. Getting dropped was not enough. Man, this is really disappointing, guys. It basically, like, two years later, it was deja vu, except that was with the boxer. This was with the kickboxer. So this was the final guy that Tai Chi Master sparred in August of 2018. This is a much taller dude. And, you know, this taller dude's being very nice. Just look at being very gentle. And Tai Chi Master's still trying to go a little too hard. Look at that. Now he's trying to do double hits. You know, there's a lot of that in Kung Fu, right? He, he's not even a shouldering off anymore. I can only assume, guys, that this was after the pink guy gave him a run for the money because um, pink guys and pink gloves because Tai Chi guy's not fighting with as much explosiveness anymore. This is, guys, this is cringe, man. This is cringe. But then, okay, I'm being too harsh. I mean, if he sparred for the first time in July with Silala and then he came back a month later, how much can he learn in a month? Let's just be honest. Um, but... You know, two years is a lot of time. And so, oof, his attempt at Tai Chi grappling brought himself to the ground. So after this two years, he didn't learn anything. He went back to spar the boxers. And he looked equally as bad and got dropped equally as bad. So, guys, I'm going to show you what Chilala said to me. Chilala gave me some really good thoughts. So, man... Tall guy is being very nice, man. And it sucks because sometimes if you do this to a guy who's that delusional, he's going to think that he actually can fight, right? That's the problem. That's the problem, guys. So it's almost like you wish one of these guys really dropped, like dropped the Tai Chi guy worse than the guy with the pink gloves, just really dropped him. But they were all just being nice. They are all just being very nice, man. Man, with your chin still wide open. <laughs> tai Chi guy's getting... If if the tall guy were using force, man, Tai Chi would have been hurting all over. He was connecting so many shots, man. So many shots were connecting. Yeah. Um, this Tai Chi guy's name, Li Myung. Li Ming. Xu Xiaodong says, apparently, the guy immigrated to Taiwan. The guy's not actually, quote unquote, real Taiwanese. So, okay, guys, this is what Silala told me. Um, this is what Silala wrote to me. So, he admires that the guy has heart. 
Um, and let's just pr not even talk about how he can't fight. He has no real kung fu. <laughs> so it's us calling the guy out. And, you know, he even told the guy to stop swinging haymakers, like punch straight. In, in Chinese, uh, wang ba, like bastard. That's how they call haymakers, like bastard punches. Basically, only the gangsters, the people who don't know how to fight, like the, the street urchins, those people swing the bastard punches. So Chilala, or maybe someone who was part of the group, was telling this guy, like giving him advice, like stop swinging haymakers, like try to actually punch with force. Um, and so our our Li Ming, the Tai Chi master, was saying, no, no, dude, these punches are like super advanced kung fu punches. That's what he was. That's what he was. He was a his excuse for swinging haymakers. So uh, that's delusional right there. What Silala is trying to explain here is that he thinks the Tai Chi guy misunderstood the point of sparring. He thinks that it's like you get into a real fight and then you kind of like hug. They didn't know what to tell him. It's like, that's not the point of sparring. There's different types of sparring. What you get out of sparring is not like, oh, we bloody each other. And Silala here explains that the people that sparred him were all just hobbyists. They were all people like Jerry or Rob, just people who love martial arts. But the Tai Chi guys seemed to have thought that they were like top A-level fighters. That's really unfortunate. And then here, everyone's being nice to him, but he misinterpreted it. Everyone was trying not to hurt our Tai Chi master. There's a lot of misunderstanding, it seems, from what Chilala is explaining, his reflection. What Chilala is ultimately saying is this guy doesn't understand how to fight. He doesn't understand what sparring was. He didn't understand those two July and August sparrings, what they meant. And probably the fine line of what Chilala is saying is, those two sparrings probably made him more delusional. They made him more delusional. He probably thought, oh, I could really throw hands with a bunch of young people, with a bunch of big people, with a bunch of you know taller people, you know, with Chilala who's been fighting professionally for years. Oh my God, I'm so amazing. So maybe it made him not practice or maybe it made him not take up boxing or kickboxing. Maybe it made him not spar anymore. That's why two years later, the video we just saw before, um, before this one, he didn't improve. It's really unfortunate, man. I just, I surround myself with martial artists who test themselves, who are always learning, right? And in my mind, if someone goes really easy on me, that's not a sign that I can fight. That's a sign that I need to work on my technique, right? They're just being nice. They're not trying to hurt me. But somehow this Tai Chi master, I guess because he doesn't understand anything about real fighting, he doesn't understand when someone's going easy on them and he misinterpreted that and thought he could actually fight. I guess this is what it is. So remember I talked about how is it good for people, all these people who are testing their abilities, their kung fu abilities, for their whatever martial art against like combat sports people, is it good or professional or you know the right thing to do for these fighters to actually drop these delusional people? And some of you were saying, I wasn't being harsh enough on these delusional people that the delusional people need to get dropped. And it looks like watching this and the results of this, it probably proves that side, that opinion that if you don't drop them a little bit, they're going to really think they can fight because you're being nice to them, but they don't understand that you're being nice to them. That is something to think about. And then, of course, just thinking about sparring, right? And maybe something you really have to explain to these guys. Look, there's fighting there's like preparing for a fight sparring. There's like light sparring. There's medium sparring. There's working on technique sparring. There's getting certain muscle memory sparring. There's different types of sparring. Maybe it's too over their heads to try to explain this to them. All I can say is I am very disappointed, but this is very enlightening. Understanding how human psychology works in cases of you could call delusion or cases of Dunning-Kruger effect or whatever. So to remedy what we just saw, let's listen to Jerry's favorite singer, Get a little bit of good feeling in our brains. All right, Li Ming, he's a guy from yeah. Yeah. 